Are you confused about the 567 different strategies to help you maximize your social security income? It's very difficult, it can be very confusing. But I'm sure with all the opportunities out there, you may have missed out on some of the strategies that may cost you dearly. In this video, I wanna share with you five little known facts that you may not be aware of with regards to Social Security that could potentially increase your Social Security income. Hi, my name is Mark Singer, founder of Your Retirement Authority and for over 30 years, president of Safe Harbor Retirement Planning. For timely and up-to-date information on how to maximize your income in retirement, subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so that you are aware of when we post new videos. So we're going to uncover for you five little known facts that you may not be aware of. So let's start with number one, grandparents and student loans. So let's start with student loans for a minute. Many millennials who are now in the workplace have on average somewhere in the vicinity about $30,000 of loans. Some have many more than that. And oftentimes they are asking for co-signers on these loans. Sometimes it's the parents, sometimes it's the grandparents. And something you may not be aware of when you co-sign that loan is that if that student or your grandchild is unable to pay back the loan, you are on the hook for all of it. And your social security benefit can be tapped, up to 15% of it can be withheld to repay that loan. So be very careful. I know that your intent is probably very good to help your grandchild out and get that college education, but make sure that you don't end up being on the hook and having a liability that you may not have been aware of. So let's go on to fact number two. It's what I call taking a mulligan, or as Social Security would call it, the do-over. Now it may be that when you filed for Social Security, you may have done it in haste or you didn't, you may not have been aware of all of the options. Again, there's so many of them. But after visiting our channel or doing some more research, you may say, you know what? Maybe I want to have a do-over. And it is possible for you to do that if you have only applied once and you are looking to do the do-over within 12 months of receiving your check. So there are four reasons to do a do-over. You may have applied early. You may have applied at 62 or 63 and realize, oops, I don't wanna do that. You can give back the money then. You may have been aware of, unaware of the restricted application where if you were born before January 2nd, 1954, you may be able to take advantage of a loophole that is available for Social Security. It may only be available for just a little bit more, more of a time. But if, after you filed and you found out the restricted application was something you were eligible for, you could do a do-over. You might may find out that when you enrolled for Medicare that you got information or guidance from Social Security personnel and you, were, you made the wrong decision. You could do a do-over. And you may end up just doing some planning, some financial planning and realizing by the guidance of your financial advisor that you're really rethinking your overall situation, situation or life has changed if you do recognize that within that first 12 months and it was the first time you had applied, you are eligible for that do-over. So the third little known fact is what we call the voluntary suspension. Now, let's assume that you took your initial claim early, or what, what we call in the penalty phase, and you decided that at 
full retirement age, and this can only be done once you reach full retirement age, that you would like to change your mind, that you are eligible to do this. And it's called the voluntary suspension. So the voluntary suspension means that at full retirement age, you can suspend your benefits. Let's say you're 67 is your full retirement age. And let's say you started your benefits at age 64 and you went, oops, wrong decision, but now we're going to remedy the situation. So at age 67, you no longer are going to take any benefits from Social Security and you'll suspend them through to the age of 70. But for those three years, you will actually accrue delayed credits off of the benefit you used to be getting. So you'll get a higher benefit amount when you reach age 70 than if you had just continued from when, in this particular example, if you had started at 64. So a voluntary suspension may be something that is worth your while. It is important here to understand the difference between a withdrawal and a suspension. Withdrawals are done before full retirement age. They must be done within 12 months of initially applying, and it involves paying back the benefits. A suspension is done at full retirement age. You do not need to repay, and you can build delayed credits. As I mentioned, there are over 567 different claiming strategies, so I understand if you're confused. If you want more information, our next video will be on the topic of what we call the tax torpedo. This will help you to keep more of the Social Security benefit you have and potentially maximize your income in retirement. So click on the link below to find out more. So let's continue with our five little known facts that you may not know about Social Security. Now, maybe one of the most important things you'll ever find out about with regards to Social Security is the need to sign up for my statement. Even if you have not claimed, if you are in your 50s or just early 60s and have yet to claim, make sure you go on and sign up for my statement. It's www.socialsecurity.gov forward slash my statement. One of the big things, one of the little known facts you may not be aware of is that once you do that, you stake claim to your own social security number, minimizing the potential for someone who can hack your social security number. So when you go on, you can make sure that you have yours, make sure nobody else has claimed. And you can also find out on my statement and go on to find out whether or not your record is accurate, whether there are any missing years. And again, the identity theft is a big thing these days. Um, once you do sign on, and again, I would highly recommend that if you have not started to receive your social security benefit, go on anyway and claim it and make your stake on your own social security number. The fifth and final little known fact that you may not be aware of is what we call the restricted application. This was from the original file and suspend, and this got grandfathered when the laws changed back in 2015. You, the applicant must be born before January 2nd, 1954. And the applicant's spouse must have filed for his or her benefit. The applicant must be full retirement age and must not have filed benefits previously. Now with our seven different calculators that we have and in some of the scenarios that we have run, we have found that for those who fit this profile, that more often than not, if you have the ability, if you are eligible for this loophole, this will help you to maximize your Social Security income. 
we have a video on strictly just the restricted application if you want to learn more. So yes, there is a lot to learn. Again, there are 567 different strategies. And if you are interested in designing your own retirement income plan and finding out how to maximize your income into retirement, you can click on the link below to become my client. Thank you very much for watching. And if you found this to be useful, please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about it. Have a great day, and I hope that you truly enjoy the retirement journey.